Delcy, and I am founder and writer at A Life of Heritage and author of Extraordinary You. Now here's the deal. I wrote this book, so obviously it has a special place in my heart. But I do believe there are some very good reasons for you to put this book on your shelf to take it off again and again. You won't find princes and princesses and frogs and fairy tales in this book. <laughs> no, although a story is weaved throughout the pages, this book is full of declarations. You remember so well, and the exact same thing happens to you when you get in your airplane of grace. Through the power of faith, you fly to freedom. Everything you do is for Jesus, and the Holy Spirit helps you, so you never have to feel pressure to be perfect all by yourself. The pressure to be perfect isn't on you, but is on God who is doing it all through you. There are also pages touching on chores, and this always reminds me that God doesn't only speak to us in the big, grand events and moments of life, but also in the mundane, sometimes boring chores of life. I want my kids to grow up knowing this intimately. All areas of life, even the chores, should be viewed as important and worthy of our best effort and also as a great time to listen for the voice of God. One of my favorite parts of the book is that there's a place in the back of the book where you can write down the first and middle name of the child that you are giving the book to. Never forget what your name means, Shawnee. It means marvelous. When you get up every morning, you can say to God, I want to make you happy today. And he responds, I have your story written out and it is marvelous. All through the Bible, we see God naming people and renaming them based on the meaning of the name. What we call ourselves, what we call our kids is important. There are also several pages in the back asking some very deep but important questions that we all need to know the answer to. I encourage you to take some time to go through the questions and help your child to understand and know what they believe and why they believe it. Like a pipe? Yes, exactly. It connects you to his powerful grace so that you can do anything with Jesus helping you. The pipe is like your faith. When you have faith in God, you believe he will do what he says and you will talk like him and you will obey him. When you are connected to God, he is with you all the time, helping you in everything you do. We need a generation to rise up knowing the extraordinary grace that resides in them through the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, this doesn't mean that our children will never face hard times, but they will be able to endure those hard times with the help of God. They will be able to look at those hard times without fear, knowing that they have the grace to endure, transform, and shine forth the love that fills them. And now, my dear Marvelous Shani, you are extraordinary. But for now, it's time for you to close your eyes and go to sleep. Love you, Mommy. And I love you more than you know. During this week, there are several bonuses that you will want to get in on when you buy Extraordinary You. So please take advantage of them, use them, and remember, you are extraordinary. Your child is extraordinary, but only through the grace of God. He loves you so very much.